Hey guys, welcome to Trial Fields. Today we're gonna to talk about how to make your drone footage look more cinematic. All right, so we're gonna go through six easy things that you can do to make your drone footage look more cinematic, both while you're shooting and in post. Number one, film at the right time of day. Because of the fact that the sensors aren't super good on the drones right now, like the DJI Phantoms or the Mavic Pros, all those cameras, they aren't super good and the dynamic range is pretty bad on them. So you wanna make sure that you're filming at the right time of day. And what's the right time of day? I would say sunrise and sunset. Those are the best times to be filming. You're always gonna get the best light and the best looking footage. Not to mention the shadows and everything are just a lot cooler looking when the sun is a little bit further down in the horizon. Number two, use an ND filter. What's an ND? It's basically just sunglasses for your camera. And what this allows you to do is to keep your shutter speed at double whatever your frame rate is. This means that you're gonna get the most cinematic motion blur in your footage, which means you're gonna get the most cinematic footage. It also gets rid of some of that micro jitter that you get with really high shutter speeds and a little bit of vibration in the drone. Number three is slow movements. One of the biggest things that most people do wrong with drones is they just fly way too fast. You want nice, slow, smooth movements. These are really cinematic in my opinion. Especially if you have a subject that's fairly close to your drone, try to go really slowly. It just makes it so much more cinematic when you have that nice, slow dolly in, or you're just rotating around your subject nice and smooth and slow. The only time you would be flying really fast is if your landscape is really far away, it's a big wide, then you can fly really fast, but for the most part, fly slow, slow it down, make it smooth. Number four, color grade and match your footage. Most people color grade their footage these days, but they forget about matching the footage to the other camera footage. So let's say you're filming on a camera like the Sony a7S II or the Panasonic GH5, and then you have some drone shots. Well, you wanna match the look of both those different cameras, the drone and your other camera. So you not only wanna color grade both cameras, but you also wanna color correct them so they look the same and they match the same edit. Big tip here is to use scopes. Scopes are your friend when you're trying to match different cameras. They tell you scientifically what's different about the footage. I specifically use the waveform for exposure and the vector scope for colors. So match the look of your different cameras. Number five, try adding a zoom. A zoom is a really easy way to create this nice cinematic drama to your shot. You can add just a straight zoom and make sure it's really small. Don't make it too pronounced or too just obvious. Make it really small and smooth and cinematic so that it just draws the viewer in really slow. You can also do something really cool like the dolly zoom effect, which is basically moving your drone forwards and zooming out at the same time digitally. It creates this really cool, interesting kind of warping effect and it just really draws in the viewer. So try adding a zoom. And number six, add some cinema crop bars or black bars, anamorphic crop, cinemascope, whatever you want to call it. Add that in, it just makes it a lot more cinematic looking. It's super easy to do. You can either download a PNG and just add it on top, or you can just change the sequence settings so it's an anamorphic crop and boom, you're ready to go. That's the best way to do it. So there you have it, six easy ways to make your drone footage look more cinematic. Nice and short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this new little format. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these types of videos. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.